Hi friends, welcome to the Weekly Habits Project. Um, we are on week 21 and our topic for today, it's also our habit for this week, is peace from God. Um, now this verse uh, that they have us starting off with is John 14, 27. Now let's look at that in the English Standard Version. We're going to drop down to right here. So it says, peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. And we'll read it from the New Living Translation because it's great as well. It says, I'm leaving you with a gift, peace of mind. And the peace I give is a gift the world cannot give. So don't be troubled or afraid. So this is one of my favorite verses um, for when I I am facing the unknown or uncertainty. Um, I love this verse because God or Jesus comes to the disciples and tells them, you know, do not fear, um, trust in God, trust in me. And even though this is, section isn't talking strictly to me, I am able to see and understand that God still can talk to me in the same way of, hey, listen, I know you're facing uncertainty, but trust in me. I can bring you peace. And I love that because he brings us peace like no other, not like the world can give. And so I just absolutely love this verse. So here in John 14, 1, you can slide up here. And see in um, John 14, 1, it says, don't let your hearts be troubled, trust in God, and also trust in me. And so this is what Jesus is sharing with him as they just find out this news that he is no longer going to be with them. And so it is it is a scary time for them. Um, maybe they might even be discouraged or sad or just their hearts might be troubled. And so here he's speaking into them. Can you imagine, though, the the doubt and the fear going through their minds. I mean, this is this is the man that they have been following for so long. They've been learning so much from him. And now he says, I am not going to be here with you anymore, um, here on earth anymore. And it's it's just this uncertain feeling of what happens next, like that these disciples might be feeling. And so Jesus talks to them about peace. He said, my peace I give to you after and after Jesus's death, they would have peace with God. And I can show that to you of where he said that that shows up. And that's Romans 5, 1. And it says here, therefore, since we have been made right in God's sight by faith, we have peace with God because of what Jesus Christ, our Lord, has done for us. And they also would have, the disciples and us, would also um, they have peace because our sins were forgiven, or in that time were about to be forgiven. And the peace of God would guard their lives. And we can find that in Philippians 4. Seven, <laughs> And that says, then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. So as we live in Christ Jesus and we're facing uncertainty, we don't know what's going to happen. We don't see what's happening down the road. We can trust in God. We can trust in Jesus and he will bring peace to our hearts. And I love this because this is back in John 14, 27. Let me pop back over there. We see that, that God is giving the first instructions here of, of receiving peace of mind and heart through uncertainty. And this isn't a peace that 
anything and or anyone can give in this world. The world cannot save your sins. The world cannot free you from sin. The world cannot guard or protect your life. It cannot free you from your troubled heart. And only Jesus Christ and God can do that for you. And this week, the habit is peace from God. Is there an area in your life that you need peace from God? A restoration of your mind. So there are moments throughout my life that I depend on God's peace. It, Like I said before, in those times of certainty, I turn to scripture and I see time and time again how God delivered his people and brought them peace. We look at back in the Old Testament and, you know, we have wars happening um, with the Israelites, but yet when they turn to God, he brought them peace. Um, he used judges uh, to come and bring uh, the people back to God. And then for the remainder of the years of these judges, they had peace. God brought peace that no one else could give. And this always shows us that he is good, but it's not always in our time. It's not always in our plan because God's plan is perfect. We can't necessarily see what God has planned for our future. And so that's where our trust and our faith come in. Yes, we want things to happen this way and this way and this way and this way, but that's us controlling the circumstance or the situation, trying to at least, instead of saying, God, take this from me and I will listen and follow your ways. No matter where this leads, I will trust you in knowing that you will bring me peace. And that is having faith. That is having a peace of mind and heart, knowing that Jesus is going to take care of you in the midst of your uncertainty. Jesus wants us to experience his peace where we fully rely and trust in the path that he takes us. The circumstances of this world can lead us into chaos. Like when we try to control our own mess and or anyone else's mess, we can maybe get through it, but it's going to be rough and tough and probably not with peace. Um, I can tell you there are many things in my life where I am facing chaos. And if I do not stop and try to follow Christ and, and seek his word and pray and just Commune with other people who know Jesus and who can remind me of his goodness. I will not be in peace. I will be in utter disturbance. I will have a hard time sleeping at night. I will just be in disarray. And that is why it's so important that we lean on him, that we get closer to him. In the midst of all of our pain, our our trials, our temptations, our our chaos, our mess, everything. It's so important that we rely on him and lean on him in the path of uncertainty. This week, I challenge you to call on the Holy Spirit to bring peace into your heart and mind, knowing that you can trust him with your life. So let him bring you the restoration and peace to your heart that you need today. So let's pray. Dear Gracious Heavenly Father, thank you so much for hearing our prayer, for hearing us in our pleas, for mercy and for grace and for peace of mind and heart, just as you gave the disciples peace of their mind and heart. Lord, I ask that you please surround each one that is listening to this today and give them the peace. Let them release the burden to you, Lord, and know that you will carry us through it. And Lord, you ultimately have everything in control and have a perfect plan. Help us to be patient and wait 
for your plan and to know that you are going to lead us to better things, Lord. Thank you so much for the love that you've given to us and that you've showered so greatly on us. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Blessings.